Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Barry, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm talking about different types of zinc and the best type of zinc supplement to take. So the most commonly known zinc supplement is usually zinc gluconate, and this is a chelated form of zinc. It is very inexpensive, often contains a lot of fillers, which if you've heard me talk before, you know I'm very much against taking fillers and different flow agents in supplements, and often does not have the copper. So zinc and copper actually help one another for proper absorption. But if it is lacking, so if your zinc supplement does not have enough copper, then you can run into difficulties with actually causing a copper deficiency. And if you take too much copper, this can actually cause a zinc deficiency. So unfortunately, zinc gluconate also can cause a lot of nausea, can cause stomach aches for people that take it. And this is why it's often said to always take it with food and some people can't even do that because it does make them feel sick. Now another type of commonly used zinc is called zinc sulfate and this one has poor absorption and actually needs a lot of stomach acid to be properly absorbed. Can also cause stomach aches and a lot of gas and bloating so not my preferred type. I'll get to my preferred type in just a second. Another type of zinc supplement is zinc oxide so this can be used topically uh, for sun protection, which is fantastic, but often it is in a supplement form as well, also needs a lot of stomach acid for that proper absorption. So again, it could be, you know, maybe not the best type to take if you are going to be looking for a zinc supplement. Now my favorite type is called zinc bisglycinate, and this doesn't compete for absorption with other minerals, so makes it highly absorbed in the intestinal tract. Also doesn't need high stomach acid for that proper absorption, so that's an added benefit of the bisglycinate. And it doesn't cause that nausea or stomach upset, so it's very soothing to the digestive tract and won't give you those negative side effects. Now one of the things to look for to also increase your absorption of your zinc when you're looking at a zinc supplement is to ensure that it has something called a zinc ionophore. And a zinc ionophore, what it does is it opens up that channel so that that zinc can actually be properly absorbed into the cell. Zinc often has difficulty for cellular absorption without that ionophore. One of my favorite zinc ionophores is called quercetin. So quercetin helps to open up that channel, allows for that proper absorption of that zinc. Again, a little bit of copper is what you're looking for in a zinc supplement and always looking for that zinc bisglycinate because that means that it's bound to glycine, which is a natural amino acid and really does help that absorption, but more importantly is very soothing to the stomach, won't cause that digestive upset when you take it. So I hope that gives you some more information about what you're looking for in terms of zinc supplements. If you do have a question or comment, please do put it below in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you and also be sure to share this video. I truly appreciate a big thumbs up and if you're new to my channel, welcome in. I hope that you'll subscribe and click that bell to turn on your post notifications so you always get notified of my newest and latest uploads which happens every day of the week. And remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for watching today.